I'm coming out. I want the world to know, got to let it show. There's a new me coming out, my world, my ability. I'm completely positive. The time is right for me to break out in fear. Hey y'all, it's Jace here from A Touch of Decor here on the Crafting Coaches Corner. What's up, what's up? Hey Casey, hey Angela Harper, congratulations tonight for winning bingo and winning my $15 gift card to Hobby Lobby. I'm so, uh, I'm so excited that you won. Hey Sheila. All right y'all, let me do a little sprinkle linkle linkle in. I gotta do some sprinkling, y'all. Hey, Ma Mary. So, y'all, I get to wrap this mother up tonight. I get to wrap it up. So, we had, oh my God, we had Rachel that made that beautiful Easter uh, to kick us off this uh, evening. We had her do that. Then we had Katie make a gorgeous Easter centerpiece. And then we had Teeny that you know, gave us a break from all that designing. And we played bingo. We played six games of bingo. We had a lot of fun giveaway prizes. And then we had um, my parents, which I call my parents, my wreath and parents. Yes, they are my wreath and parents. Stoney and Michelle Stone with Wilds Creek and Company. They made that beautiful rail. So tonight, y'all know I am one. I love a grapevine. I do love a grapevine. So um, we're going to make a grapevine tonight. And I'm going to make it very religious. Um... Because, you know, not everybody does the Easter bunnies and all that stuff for Easter. Some people do um, religious things. So, let me sprinkle me around for a second. I sent out a text message. So, if you want to get live text message alerts from me, uh, just text the word coach, crafting, coaches, whatever three words or whatever one of those three words you want to text. Text it over to 985 317-1457. This way you will get a text message from me when I go live um, here on the Crafting Coaches Corner. And also, you can get live text message alerts when I go live on my business page. <coughs> hey, Rachel. Y'all, I'm trying to share me around, so I don't even know how to do this crap. Hold on. I'm going to come say hello to everybody. What's up, my girls? What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? How do I share this to my page, y'all? I don't know how to work this. Well, I guess we'll be fine. I don't know how to share it to my business page, y'all. Y'all, I got my pants on. Hold on, let me stand on my stool. Y'all, I got my pants on. Look, I got shorts on. So, Michelle, I'm going to get her back for that one. I do have my pants on. Look, I have them on. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Teeny, I don't know. I'm having trouble on my Facebook page, too, to do it. Uh, another project. Yes, guys. So, tonight, oh, we're going to use this sign. I got it from Walmart. Um, I got it from Walmart maybe a year or so ago. And, y'all... I may act crazy, I may act silly, I may cuss, I may treat people badly, but guys, I do have a love for God, I do. I have a true, true love for God, I do. Uh, so tonight we're going to make a wreath that says, He is Risen. And my idea for this project tonight is, what made me pick out these items that I'm using tonight, is at my job where I work, I work in a fresh flower florist. Um, I saw these beautiful moss balls, okay? This moss ball reminded me of the stone that rolled away from the tomb of Jesus, okay? So this is what reminded me of that. So that's why I wanted to put this in here with a religious vibe to it. Uh, we're going to put this up in here as well. We're going to attach the sign in here. But also, I will get a cross because I don't have a cross in my stash, <laughs> We'll put a cross in here as well. So I'm going to show y'all how I design. If you don't mind sprinkling the love, because tonight I'm going to give away two, I said two months um, individually to a uh, viewer of the, to my private group. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. So I'm giving two, one month in my private group. I do have a private group where I teach and coach and all that good stuff. So it's just crafting with Jace. So if you don't mind sprinkling the love around, I would greatly appreciate it. And y'all, I'm so nervous out of breath and everything. 
okay? Hey, everybody. So I'm going to show y'all how I do my grapevines. I do my grapevines different than anybody. I probably have, you probably have seen me do this grapevine a million a zillion times. So I like to buy the sheets of styrofoam from Hobby Lobby, Michaels. Uh, you can buy them from Joann's. Walmart has the smaller ones. Hey, Ronnie. Um, they have the smaller ones you could get. And I like to cut off pieces, okay? So I'm going to cut off a piece tonight. All right? And the reason why I do this, thank you so much, Becky Jones. The reason why I do this is because I like to have a 3D effect on my design. I don't like to have that flat design like this. Um, I don't like to have a flat design. I like to have a 3D design. I like you to speak and grow to me, okay? I hate, I hate when somebody just puts something on a grapevine. No, honey. Make it look like it's growing in nature. And when you go out into the world, you don't see something just pop over. And y'all, I don't have an hour because I end the show tonight. So I can take however long I want. So when you're in nature, you don't see this stick just like this. You'll see it bent and moved and give life, you know. You can bend it and give it however much direction you want. So that's why I like to do it in my grapevines as well. I like to give it that life because at the end of the day, who wants something boring? Who wants something boring? If it's your first time here with the um, Crafting Coaches Corner, please let me know. If it's the first time you ever watch me design as a designer, please let me know. And before I get even started, let me introduce who I am. My name is Jay Champagne. I am 24 years old. Yes, I'm 24 years old. I have talent more than I have in my big toe. I have so much talent, I don't even know what to do with, guys. I have been staging... The storefront where I work, I have been designing fresh flowers. I design over-the-top, out-of-the-box designs. And if anybody knows me, that's who I am. I like to design over-the-top stuff. And I am so glad to be a part of this group with these amazing coaches. We have Miss Stoney and Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Stoney and Michelle Stone. Uh, we have Miss Katie Sabatarelli. We have Miss Rachel Holmes. And then we have Miss Teeny Muir. Y'all, this group of people are bringing unity back to the community. That, Like Michelle said, we want this community and this group to inspire you, create, and motivate you to make the most beautiful things out there, okay? Um, I just, I just want to say that. Okay, Teeny, I will do that. You know I will. Um... So let's get started. So I'm going to take my piece of styrofoam. Yes, and I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some moss back here because I want, I hate my mechanics. I don't like to see my mechanics. That's just bleh to me. You have to cover your mechanics because if you're going to hang this on somebody's door, they don't want to see all that janky stuff in the back. The only thing they're going to really see in this design out of the back, they're going to see this. And y'all, I buy these tinsel ties when they're on sale at Hobby Lobby. I buy every single one of them. They come a pack of 20 for $2.99 at Christmas time. You can get them 50% off or wait till after the end of the season. We may sing some gospel. Okay, so I'm going to take two tinsel ties and I'm just going to put it together. Putting unity back into the community. Yes. All right, now I'm going to go down here. I like to buy Spanish moss from Walmart. They have the bags of Spanish moss. Um, for seven dollars, you get this big old bag. This is a I don't even know how many ounces. Y'all, you get this big old bag of Spanish moss. I love the green one, it's one of my favorites. Honey, let me tell you something I'm, I may be thicker than a snicker, but I know I'm all that. <laughs> I may be thicker than a snicker, but I know I'm all that, Mr. Stoney. Don't go there with me. Hey, Sarah, welcome. If you have not liked and followed our page, we would greatly um, appreciate that. If you have not followed our business pages individually, uh, please do that as well. Please follow Wilds Creek and Company. 
uh, Crazy Maisie's Creations LLC, Coastal Style, etc. And then Lovey's Flowers. And yes, best of all, a touch of decor, okay? That's all I'm gonna say. So now I just used some floral pins to attach my moss. Yeah, I did attach my moss to here. Now let me do this. We're gonna put this right here and I'm gonna run those tinsel ties through the back of my grapevine. And I'm gonna pull with all my strength to tie these tinsel ties together, okay? I'm gonna pull them tight as we can, okay? Because I don't want this, whoop, that's okay. I don't want this design to move, okay? I don't want this styrofoam to move. And you see, I put it as tight as I can. It's not moving, y'all. I put it as tight as I can, it's not moving. <clears throat> okay? And if anybody knows, I love to design. Michelle and them can tell you, designing is my life. Um, my life never stops designing. So, I am the one that has, if you've been seeing all the cute little canvas that are going on the page, like, you're going to see some coming up. It's just amazing, okay? So, now, I picked out some ribbon. And, yes, guys, I'm going crazy with ribbon. I picked a green, um, like a hunter green or an olive green with black and white. I picked out a lavender, and I'm going to put a black in there, okay? The reason why I'm doing that is because black goes with anything and everything. And I'm going to show you how to make a fabulous design, and you don't have to use a whole roll of ribbon. Is Mama Michelle here, Stoney? Because she has not commented to me, and it hurts my heart. I know Katie's has. Uh, what's her name has? Rachel. I couldn't. I'm sorry, Rachel. I didn't mean to say what's her name. Um, I know they're all in here, but Mama Michelle's not in here tonight. She be chatting with me. All right, now I'm going to take some pipe cleaners and I'm going to attach my sign. I want my sign to go a little bit like that, okay? No, Michelle hurt my feelings. Don't, don't get it twisted. Michelle hurt my feelings telling people that I was with no pants on, y'all. Son of a donkey. I just dropped the whole box of steel picks, y'all. Hold on. And they went everywhere. There's some things that happen on our business calls with each other that stays on those business calls. And that's one of them, Michelle. That is one of them that stays on there. Hey, Sadie. That's one of them that stays on our business call, Michelle. Okay? I got something on you, but I'm not going to do you like you did me. I have something on you that I could get you with, but I'm not going to do that because that's not me. I don't care if it was a personal business call or not. You're my friend. Wait till next time. I got you, girl. I got you. Let me get you. Don't worry. I got your number, honey bunny. It did not bother me at all. It did not bother me at all. No, that's the one. What I got to say on Michelle, I can't say that. I can't do that to her. She is a Christian businesswoman, okay? <laughs> All right, so we have our sign in there, and I did it crooked because I wanted it crooked. If I want, I can fix it, okay? And I'm not worried about putting whatever at the bottom. I'm not worried about putting whatever at the bottom because it's going to be fine. I'm not going to put moss in it yet because we're going to work. And we may not put our moss balls in here now that I look at this design. All right. 
So here we go. Y'all know me, I love my greenery, so I'm gonna use greenery. I've been trying to get Stony Stone to put greenery in his dang designs since I ever met him, and he just won't do it, okay? All right, y'all. So I like to give length. I like to give length and volume. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're going to design this way and down tonight, okay? We're going to design this way and down and maybe shoot out a little bit over here, okay? So it's going to be a half crescent design. And if anybody knows me, I hate doing half crescents, but we're going to make it work, okay? So now I just still picked it and I'm just going to go right in here. And y'all, this piece of greenery comes from Michael's. I love Michael's this Christmas green. Stony, it's not going to cheapen your design. Has the greenery ever cheapened my designs? As long as you know what to do. Uh, I know he did not need it tonight, but honey, let me tell you something. Has greenery have ever cheapened my design? No, 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 no. Greenery has never cheapened the design of mine. Ever. <coughs> and I love greenery in everything I do. So I'm going to zoom y'all in a little bit so y'all can see a little closer. Mama Michelle, you better get my daddy. Y'all, I have been knowing Stoney and Michelle for a long time, so I can pick with them like that, okay? <laughs> I've been knowing them for a long, long time. If I could turn back time, if I could find a way, I'd take back those words that I heard you and you stay. If I could reach the stars, I'd give them all to you. Where you love me, love me. Like you used to do. If I could turn back time. Yes, I will cover the phone. I'm just, I'm just greening right now because I could hide, I could hide stuff with greenery. I could hide stuff with greenery. Michelle, you should know that. Why wow, he never texts me. Torn apart, trophy deep in my heart. That is Cher. So what you're going to tell me, let Cher sing it? Stormy is so hateful tonight. He told Michelle he wished that she had a figure like the, uh, the burlesque, um, thing. Latini had him design for her. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all are so bad tonight. Stoney, I really do think it's past your bedtime. Rachel is so quiet tonight. Everybody's so quiet. Katie Stirs is quiet. Don't ask me. You know exactly what that was. So now I'm going to add my, my moss. Let me tell you something. I'm not always this messy. So let me tell you. Um, I am not this messy. I don't do mess. So if you think I'm messy, you don't have to follow. But I'm not this messy. Hmm. Well, wow, 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 wow. My mama and my best friend, um, my best friend, Rachel, needs to quit the hospital. I don't, I don't care what you say. She needs to quit it. You've seen all that talent she had in that wreath. And you've seen how many people watched her tonight. She needs to quit that hospital, Mr. Lyle. She does. 
Well, Stoney, I guess I'm messy, y'all. People are thinking I'm messy. Guess I'm messy. <laughs> oh, well. To each their own. To each their own, okay? To each their own. So I like to add some more hangy dangly. Rachel, will, be, will I be home Sunday? Yo, I like to use different textures. I love different textures. Yo, okay, I'm going to say something like Michelle said on Sweet Tea tonight. Rachel is our Martha Stewart in our group. Without the felony, she is Martha Stewart and our page without the felony, y'all. My girl is Martha Stewart without that felony. Oh, well, he's going to be on our business call this weekend. We have a business call Sunday. We have a business call every Sunday, y'all. So he will be on our business call with us. But Rachel is Martha Stewart without that felony. Okay? That girl dabbles in designs and everything. So y'all see how I just added that other piece of green in there? Y'all see how I did that? Rachel is phenomenal. She's not just a phenomenal crafter. She's a phenomenal friend. Just like uh, Katie and Teeny and Michelle and Stoney, y'all. They're just phenomenal. I am so glad that I did this collaboration with them. Y'all, y'all just don't know what that means to me. To have so supportive friends that um, would want to collaborate with different business owners, you know, to build their page. So now I'm going to start adding some of this greenery. Just into this grapevine. It's okay that this is in the grapevine just sprewing out. Just hot glue it on that bad boy in there, okay? Like I'm doing, y'all, just hot glue it in there and just play around with it. It's going to make your design. You'll see it. It'll make it. Well, that's what we want. You know, that's why we started this group. We want other people to be surrounded by great people like we are, okay? We are surrounded by some great individuals, y'all. And we want y'all to be surrounded with those great individuals as well. Baby, I need a bra too. Hey, uh, where can I find one of them? Katie Cakes. Where can I find one of them good old push-up bras? With great support. I need one. So y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just turning it and just making it blow out. So I'm designing it up here and just blowing it out. Hey, Miss Kim. And y'all, this is one of my favorite greeneries from Liberty Floral. This is one of my favorites from Liberty Floral, y'all. I love this ribbon. And y'all, we may not even put ribbon in this design. I pulled ribbon to put in this design, but we may not even put ribbon. I do have a bra in my, uh, I have spikes, pantyhose, and all that in my dolly stash. <laughs> I do, y'all. So y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just making a focal uh, hey, Bonnie, I'm just making a focal point statement piece where I just go wild and big, okay? And if I didn't want this sign in here, this would be a great everyday wreath, to be honest with you guys. This would be a fabulous everyday wreath. Um, just a fabulous one. Because of the way I'm designing it. So, are y'all enjoying it, liking it so far? Hey, Terry.
I'm one, I, I design crazy. I, you'll never see my design like anybody else's. You won't. And Katie and Michelle and all of them, they can tell you that. You'll never see me design something like somebody else. How far I'm going with what? I will be designing and teaching my our page how to do a mannequin head. I did order some, y'all. I do have some mannequin heads ordered. I do have some order to teach the page. If you don't know me, y'all, I'm also known for mannequin head, making mannequin heads. Uh, I'm not the one that actually started out making the mannequin heads, but I do a lot of mannequin heads. Uh, I can show y'all. If you've never been on my page, let me show y'all one I've made, okay? This one was for Christmas. So this is a mannequin head that I made for Christmas, y'all. Trying not to drop her. All right, so here's a mannequin head that I made for Christmas for my dining room table. She has elf ears. Um, she's on a fake cake. Put her on a fake cake. She has her bubble gum coming out of her mouth. Um, she has a whole bunch of crazy stuff coming out of her hair. Um, look at the back of her head. So if you've never seen something like this before, you're going to want to stay here on this page, y'all. Because I'm always, you can ask the coaches, I'm always designing something out of the box. And out of the ordinary. Um, let me show y'all what we made in my coaching group this week, too. So we made this in my coaching group. Uh, we made this little centerpiece this week in my coaching group. We made this with a little piglet on a fan, a rustic fan. We made this. I just need to finish it up, put some more stuff in it, put some moss and stuff. So I make all kinds of fun stuff, y'all. I don't dabble like teeny in them. I don't dab in painting. I don't dabble in... Decoupage and I don't dabble in all that bake bake stuff and all that. Uh, I just dabble in floral design and I try to perfect that and critique that more and more. I don't dabble in the DIYs. I tried already. It's not my cup of tea, okay? It's not mine. I don't like all that. I don't dabble in all that stuff. I'm not like, it, that don't phase me how Michelle paints and all that. That don't phase me. This right here is what phases me. Is this prettiness here, what we're making tonight. Stuff like this phases me. Um, Sharon Cow, Sharon's Cow and Ives Heads. Y'all, Ives is one of my good friends. And I get a lot of my heads from her. But Teeny is going to actually paint me one. I want Teeny to paint me a head, y'all. And I want you to design something with her. I did mannequin heads and wreaths already. I've done mannequin heads um, with feathers coming out, y'all. Katie, tell them about that one I did for Mardi Gras. That head. I don't know. I don't know the heart party song. It's a heart party going on right here celebration so send all your hearts here <laughs> so bring your hearts and your laughter too we gonna have a party right here on the corner <laughs> i don't know what song y'all want me to sing with that <laughs> so it's a heart party going on right here a heart party So bring your good time and your laughter too. Cause we gonna have a party right here with you. Come on. Y'all, how many of you, I always say y'all, how many of you guys are very excited about our 
new endeavor we're doing. Our new launching of our page to see what we have in store. Thanks. Oop, that didn't work. Hey, Miss B. So y'all see how I'm just making it stand out? Y'all, we have a lineup of fabulous, fabulous, fabulous designers. Michelle has been um, working and Teeny has been working to contact the designers to get them on the page. So them two ladies have been working hard. I have been working hard. Um, Rachel has been working hard. Y'all, we have all been working so hard. We all have been working so hard, y'all. We want y'all to be as excited as we are with this, okay? We want you as excited as we are. Y'all, Michelle called me today on her way to the store. Because, you know, she owns a storefront, like they said, um, on their live. And she was like, oh, my God, y'all, where is Katie? Where's Rachel? Where's everybody? I have an idea for the page. And I was like, what is it? Well, I can't spill it with this. She's like, you know, blah, 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 blah. I was like, oh, my God, yes, let's make it into happening. And, y'all, I made it into happening. And, y'all, I think she almost peed her pants when I told her that we could make it into happening, you know. I just love when I could contribute to making it happen. You know, I made an executive decision today. <laughs> um, and y'all, y'all going to enjoy this. Uh, we have so much fabulous things. We have, uh, when you have so many creative heads just going together and making stuff. Yes, Miss Bertha. So, Miss Bertha um, Cooper's on here. She used to work with me at Hobby Lobby. Uh, well, we're going to work on getting Teeny more time. We, we, we've already discussed about that, um, uh, getting her some more time. She does need more time. Um, so Miss Bertha has been a floral designer for a long time. She works at Hobby Lobby. She works in the floral department. She used to be my school bus driver when I was a little bitty, itty bitty kid. She was my bus driver in school. Um, it's many rounds. Um, we have lives. We have a marathon of lives every Wednesday. So it's six of us that go live every Wednesday. Um, from painting to crafting to designing to doing whatever on the page. And then next week, starting on the 1st, we are going to be launching our page officially. So our page will be officially launched where we'll start our individual nights. Where Michelle and Stoney will start off Tuesday. Um... I don't know what I said that she said I'm still a kid. Um, Michelle's good and Stoney are going to start off Tuesday. They're going to start off Tuesday. Anytime on Tuesday, they'll come on live and design. Uh, we have our guest is uh, our marathon on Wednesday. Um, on Wednesday. And then we'll have Thursday, Miss Rachel from Lovey's Flowers. On Friday, we'll have our spotlight designer, which we have so many of those. And I'll touch back on that in a minute. And then on, after that, on Saturday, we have the infamous and most talented queen of it all as well. Um, we have Teeny. Teeny will be on on Saturday. And then Sunday, we have Miss Katie. And then back on Monday, you have me. So it's always going to be somebody different, y'all. It's not going to be always the same old stuff. One night, it may just not be designing. It may be a business tip or a business live. Um... It just depends on what the coach wants to do on that night. Some nights it might be step-by-step hand bow tying. Uh, me, I'm going to tell you all a little bit about what I might do on my lives. Um, I might show you how to work with fresh flowers, uh, show you how to start decorating for Christmas and staging, how to do door garlands, how to make over-the-top designs, tips and tricks like that. Each coach is going to give you a little bit different things. Uh, and I think it's fabulous because... There's not many pages out there that give you different things. 
So I hope you guys are excited for that. Excited. I know Michelle is. We all are excited. It's a dream of ours that we've all been working on. Um, it took a lot of brainstorming, y'all. We have all been brainstorming uh, to get this group and page right. Thank you so much, Becky Jones. You are fabulous, y'all. Becky Jones has been helping us out on every live we've been on tonight. She has been doing a lot of, of the promoting stuff. Like, y'all, Becky Jones is the real MVP, y'all. So, y'all see how I just added that pop of purple in there? That pop of purple greenery? And y'all see how it just speaks out to you, this design? You just see how it speaks out? So, I'm going to show y'all from the side view. Look how 3D that is. Look how it just sits off of that grapevine. You see how it sits off that grapevine? Y'all, Becky's amazing. All right, so we're going to move off away from that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of florals, I think. I'm going to add some florals. We're going to add some Easter lilies in here too as well, okay? So we're going to add some Easter lilies. Well, they're going to have to discuss that. Coaches, can y'all, did y'all see what Sherry just said? <laughs> who just commented on uh, the administrator? I don't know who it is. I don't know if that was Michelle. I don't know who it was. It could be Toboggan, like Katie calls Sony. Yo, guys, we have some stuff up our sleeves. We do. Okay, Michelle, you comment on that. Okay, perfect. So I'm just adding some flowers in here, y'all, just to give it some other depths in life, okay? Hey, Pam. So y'all see how just that pop of white is just giving it some texture and different colors in here? Well, that's weird. And y'all see, y'all don't even see that styrofoam that I even have in there. You don't even see it now that I put all that junk in there. We're excited to have you too. Well, they don't like me tonight. They usually like me. I don't know what it is tonight. I think I'm not acting stupid and dumb and funny. I usually get my hundred and whatever, but I just can't even get it tonight. Hi, hey, no, that's fine. no, Miss Sherry, you are absolutely fine. I just wanted them to know. I, I just wanted them to see what you've said because I'll be honest with you guys, we have a lot of stuff up our sleeves. And we just want I just wanted the coach just to see that. It's because I have my pants on, yes. <laughs> because I have my pants on. <laughs> So y'all see how I'm just placing my, my, my flowers and such in here? Thank you so much for the hearts, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Oh, you're welcome, Amanda. 
So y'all, I gave away a gift card. I gave away a twenty-five dollar gift card to Hobby Lobby on one of my lives when I on my my personal business page. And the lady that wanted it was just in here, and she just said, "Oh, thank you so much for it." So how many of you guys? Okay. Um. Uh, it is a, it's just a greenery. I can tell you the name of it. I have another pack right here. I don't know what it's called, to be honest with you. I don't know what it's called. It's just a greenery. But I can get you the name of it. So how many of you guys would have thought to put styrofoam on your grapevine to make it more depth? How many of you guys would have done it? And if you're in my private group, you cannot answer this. Because <laughs> you guys have learned how to do this. I want the new people to say it. Not you. Alright, I am going to lie. I did taught, I did teach Michelle, when I was at Michelle's house the last time I was there, I taught her how to do this. Um, because the reason why I do this is because I don't like, you see, if I'd have just put, um, if I'd have just put, um, if I'd have just done this on the grapevine itself, I wouldn't have this effect of it just popping out. I hate that because, and the people said they only have seen me do it. I could be honest with you guys. I have never seen other designers in the wreathing community do it. Um, I'll be honest with you. I haven't. So, I know if you're a florist or a designer, you would have done it. Uh, but not many people do it. And I don't see many people in the wreathing community teaching that on their lives. If they do, it's already done and complete. Okay? I'm one. I will teach you step by step how I do it. Just like I do in my private group, I'll teach you just like here on here. Okay, this is a... Maiden's hair. It's maiden's hair. Um, it is maiden. It's called maiden's maiden hair hanging vine. How thick is my foam? My foam is just the thick foam, the dry foam that you get. Uh, Kalia does. I know Kalia does. Uh, but she teaches that in her private group. Um, but I don't think she. Th I think she uses the soft foam. I'm not sure, but y'all, I teach all this. You know. I teach the look. I do it big, wild, out of the box. I'm not one that um, likes anything small. Um, I like it big. So we're going to add some ribbon in here. We're going to just add some pops of ribbon. Not much. We may just do some loops and swoops in here, okay? We're not going to add anything fancy in here, okay? I just want maybe just a tail of it, you know? Just maybe some tails coming down right here. And that'll be it. And y'all, I've only I've only been on for 43 minutes and I've designed a whole wreath. I'm the only designer I could probably tell you that will design a wreath in, in 30 minutes or 15 minutes. So I could design a wreath in 15 minutes if I put my head to it. And if you don't believe me, ask my coaches. My coaches will tell you. Or ask our coaches. They will tell you. I, I could design in 15 minutes. My name of my company is A Touch of Decor, and this is it right here. Hold on. Let me take this off the wall for a second. This is my business name. My business name is A Touch of Decor. A, a Touch of Decor. Thanks. 
So now I'm gonna go underneath all this junk and add my tails, okay? Just gonna add some tails. I'm not even gonna put anything spectacular in here. We're just gonna add some tails, okay? Then we're gonna weave it through, okay? See, just adding a little bit of tail in there done something too. Look, I just like the elegancy of that. And then y'all, I'm gonna just do something up top with the tail. You don't always need a bow. You don't always need loops. You don't always need that big, flashy ribbon piece. Sometimes less is more, and sometimes simplicity is more. Um, I've been learning that with designing simplicity. Um, simplicity is more. And y'all, I'm going to add a little loop right here in this little spot right here. I'm just going to add a loop. Granny's doing fine, y'all. She's actually starting to walk and get up by herself. Uh, if you don't know, last week, um, I don't know what we were doing. But we married fun last week, last Wednesday. Um, my granny fell and broke her pelvis. I mean, not broke her pelvis. She fractured her pelvis. So I've been dealing with that. She's actually able to get up and walk by herself now, get up, go to the bathroom. Um, but it's crazy. She's 80, almost 83 years old and fell trying to get something out of the top of our cabinet in our kitchen to make strawberry jelly. <laughs> and she fractured her, her pelvis. So. You see, y'all, look how that just made a difference. Just adding that little piece of ribbon in there. That's all you got to do. You don't need to have all that big old fancy thing. Uh, where did I get my sign? That comes from Walmart last year. Or a year before or something like that. I don't know where it comes when it comes when I when I got it. Alright, now I'm gonna show y'all what I do with this ribbon, okay? So I'm gonna make me a ribbon hanger. I like a ribbon hanger. Just me. I love a ribbon hanger, okay? So I'm going to take my ribbon. I made sure it was even. Okay. Take it. Make it even. And then we're going to pinch it right here, okay? I'm going to wrap this coated wire, this covered wire, okay? And we're just going to wrap it as tight as we can. <clears throat> All the way around our our design, okay? I'm gonna hang it back right here for right now. And y'all look, it just makes a hanger. Just makes a hanger and it just brings your ribbon to the top as well. See that? It just brings your ribbon that you have at the bottom to the top. So you have your ribbon that you have in your design to the top. Okay. I'm just going to add a piece, some pieces of lavender and then I'm going to wrap it up, okay? I am almost done. And a few pieces of lavender, and then I'm out of here. It was great for y'all to stop on in, have a good old time with us here on the Crafting Coach's Corner, and we're going to chit-chat, and I'm going to chit-chat about spotlight designers and all that good stuff before I get out of here. And y'all, this comes from Walmart, this piece of lavender, for I don't even how much, $3.47. And it's fabulous. All right, y'all. So before I get out of here, this is my design. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. It was great to have you guys here tonight with me here at the Crafting Coach's Corner. For our weekly Wednesday marathon, I'm going to wrap this ribbon up, put a straight pin in it. Wrap this ribbon up and put a straight pin in it. And we're going to chat, okay? We're going to talk. We're going to talk a little bit. All right, so guys, as you know, we are accepting spotlight designers. We have a post on our page. If you would be interested in going live and be a spotlight designer, 
You can. This will also be in my Etsy shop. I'll try to get it in there tomorrow night when I get home. Not sure when I'll get it in there, but I'll try to get it in there tomorrow night when I get home. Um, so we are accepting Spotlight Designers. Michelle Stone and Teeny Muir are in charge of those. They will, one of them will contact you. Uh, as of right now, we have about 27 all together with the ones we have scheduled already. 27 designers, y'all. 27 designers. Like Stoney and Michelle said, we can get all the way through September. But we're not going to schedule that far out because um, of, you know, stuff happens in life. Somebody may die, um, may come ill, um, all that good stuff. So, with that being said, she will go from month to month. Don't think you're going to get neglected or any of that. She has a lot going on. She runs a shop. She runs helps the background and the business of this uh, page and all that. But, guys, we are very, 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 very happy with the response we got from Spotlight Designers. It is from people that have never done, done lives before. It's from people that have been doing lives for years. It has been with people... Uh, that maybe are designing amazing designs and just haven't found that voice to come out and say, hey, I need to do a lot. There's people that, you know, who may not even make amazing designs or stuff. You know, there are people out there that are coming out to help you. There are people that want to improve. I'm not saying that nobody's designs are bad. I don't ever judge people's designs. I like any and everybody's designs. I just... Find a little critiquing in myself sometimes. So, we want you to come live on our page so we can help you, grow you, um, mentor you. Um, you know, what's that word I'm looking for, Michelle? What is that word? Help me. Steer you in the right path. You know, we want to help you and see you grow your business. So, please go ahead and sign up as a Spotlight Designer uh, because... We want you to be on our tail, our our team. We want you to be a part of us, into our community. Unity over community. And Michelle, I don't like you right now. Uh, we want to guide you. That's the word I wanted. We want to guide you. Michelle helps me without with my talking because I don't I don't ever get my words out right. So we want to guide you. You don't have to have ever done a live, like I say, but go ahead, sign up. Like I said, we have 27 people that have signed up already. We have more that are interested. Uh, they just have to check their schedules. Um, but yes, we have a lot of stuff up our sleeves, y'all. But if we don't have anything else to say or want to say anything to me or any of the coaches that are on, um, we're going to get out of here. Uh, what time is it here? I took the last spot tonight, so I'm not used to staying up this late and in my craft room, but I'm full of energy tonight. So what time is it, y'all? Did I go to my hour? Or did I go over? Oh, y'all. I got seven minutes left. What are we going to talk about for seven minutes? What we got? What y'all want to talk about for seven minutes? We got seven minutes, y'all. Ask the way. Fire away. Fire away. Throw those questions. At me. So what? Is, so let me ask y'all. We have five minutes left. So what are some things you want to ask me? Michelle, you can throw stuff at me. Anybody can throw anything and everything at me. Like, ask away. What do y'all want to hear? Do y'all want to know something? How special am I? How special am I what? Okay. Do I keep all my ribbon out? Yes, I do. The only seasons that I pick up are patriotic. Um, I pick up my 4th of July ribbon. And I pick up my Mardi Gras ribbon. Because I, can, I won't use Mardi Gras ribbon all year, round, um, all year round. Some of some of my um, Christmas ribbon I leave out all year. Because I'll use like sparkly glitter. I'll use different stuff like that. So I leave all my stuff out. I leave all my ribbon out. I leave all my seasons out. The only seasons I pick up are Easter. Well, I'm going lie about that. The only seasons I pick up are Easter, Mardi Gras, and my Patriotic. I leave out Thanksgiving. I leave out Christmas. And I also leave out every day. I leave all that out. Um, how's the boyfriend? The boyfriend's doing good. Um, like I say, we have, still haven't met each other, but 
We talk to each other on the phone every day. We text. So that's good. Um, I work at the flower shop every single day. I work Monday through Saturday. Um, this Saturday is my weekend to work. So I have a big wedding that I have to decorate for and do the flowers for. So I have a wedding this weekend. So I work at the flower shop every night. Every day, I mean. What is my favorite base to work with? If any of my followers are on here, my followers could tell you what is my favorite base to work on. Uh, need something for my door. For spring color, please. So, Miss Bertha, we're I'm going to text you and we're going to brainstorm because her and I brainstorm and throw ideas off each other because she is a phenomenal florist too, y'all. She's phenomenal. She does the most beautiful things. She does. She makes beautiful stuff. So if anybody truly knows me and has been following me for a long time, you'll know exactly what my favorite base is to work on. I just got two new ones. Let me go show y'all. And you'll know what my favorite base is to work on. And I don't have to get many of them. Come on, my friend. So guys, these are my absolute all-time favorite bases to work on. If you truly know me, these are my absolutely my favorite to work on. These are my all-time favorite to work on. <coughs> Frames are my favorite. Grapevines would be my second. Mannequin heads would be my third. Well, I have plenty of favorites to work on. Um, frames, grapevines, mannequins, and moss bases. Moss reefs are my favorites. So, frames are my favorite, y'all. This one's heavy, so I don't know what we're going to design with it. I love a good old frame. I have loved a good old frame since I started. Um, they make the most beautiful things. All right, guys. So, I'm going to get out of here. It was great having you guys all night with us from 5 to now 10 o'clock Central Standard Time. It was a great time seeing you interact and laugh and comment and cut up and encourage, excuse me, encourage each other and motivate each other. But from our side of the cameras as coaches, we do it for you. Like the words of Michelle said, we're trying to put unity back into the community. So, with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.